Hey y'all, it's me back at it again looking crazy. But today I'm going to show you how I prepare my hair for um, protective styles I'll be keeping in for a long periodically time. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So there are a couple of hair videos on my channel, you know, I do hair, whatever, you know, if you follow me, you already know that. If you're a real one and OG, you know what I do best and that is hair. And so um, I have a lot of hair videos on my channel that are tutorial like, but one thing that I do get a lot of questions about is how I keep my hair very well protected underneath my styles, how my hair grows a lot, all these other questions. And one thing that ensures the protection and the growth of my hair while it's in protective styles is making sure that the foundation is solid like if your foundation is solid everything else can be built up and be good if you have a rocky foundation then your structure will fall in this case your hair will fall out <laughs> not actually funny because when your hair falls out that's actually really sad and that means that you are dealing with some very severe and serious problems so <laughs> You know just gotta be honest the first thing that i do is i pre-poo my hair so the pre-poo cheap treatment english the pre-poo tre the pre-poo treatment that i will be using is this one by meal organics and let me tell you this line smells so good. It's so like minty and refreshing and you feel like something's getting done. And you can tell that something's getting done because it softens my hair so much. My hair's super dry right now, y'all can see. It's very dry, very crispy, very crunchy, and um, it needs some revitalization because once I wash it and strip it of all its oils, it needs to still be moisturized enough to where the deep conditioner is not doing all the work, even though I have bomb ass deep conditioner, so they can, but you don't want them to. So I have this one by Mio Organics, and it's the Morongo oil pre-poo treatment. And then I also like to use olive oil. If you are on a budget or you're just somebody that doesn't want to spend money on a new product, you can use olive oil or any type of oil that's good for your hair for a pre-poo treatment. Coconut oil works for some people, olive oil works for others. So I love the way olive oil feels on my hair and on my skin. So olive oil is the move for me. So I put both of these products on. This one's supposed to go directly on your scalp. You can put this one on your whole entire hair shaft because this will help like moisturize and protect your hair even more. So let me demonstrate that real quick. I've already put this on, but basically if I was gonna do it again, you just open it, put some in your hand. They always say a dime size amount, but when you have natural hair, that's not realistic. Then you put it on, moisturize. Moisturize just the top. You just moisturize your roots. Get in there, massage, massage. And then you take some of your olive oil, pour it in your hands. You should get enough for your hair because I have very thick hair. And you put that down the rest of your hair shaft. Make sure you get those ends and you scratch it out. So this right here is pre pooing doing this thing yeah yeah all right so there's this let me twist it up and that's one section completely done you see how it looks a little bit more more moisturized than it did it's kind of shiny then we'll go over to the next side and we'll do this front part gotta separate it out okay so you have this section you see how it's all dry and still has the curls from the previous style you grab some of your pre poo treatment I have a quarter size amount. You can't really see it. It looks kind of like gel and it's very um, watery. ASMR. <laughs> but yeah, you take this and you massage it. So 
after I've massaged it into my hair, I grab some of my olive oil. And that is how to pre poo. So I'm going to continue this around my whole entire head and I'll show y'all the next step after that. So now I look like a Teletubby or something like that. <clears throat> okay, so now I have my hair divided into the four sections that I'm going to leave it in while I wash my hair. Um, and y'all, I'm itching my head because my hair is so dirty. I haven't washed my hair in like three weeks because school has been hard. I've been stressed out, but I'm taking this time out that I actually don't have to do this. So I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. And I'm probably not going to sleep tomorrow night, but everything's fine. You know, it's going to be fine. That's what college is about. Don't go to college, kids. JK, go to college. But anyway, so for my cleansing wash for this one in particular, because my head is so itchy and I feel like my scalp just needs some tender, loving care, I'm going to be washing my hair with some apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm going to be mixing this with water. And ACV is a great way to wash your natural hair because it really does clean it and cleanse it and really gets in there and it really does strip your scalp of the dirt and everything like that. You need to be very, very, very careful when you're using ACV for your hair, for anything that you use it for because ACV is an acid and it will burn the fuck the out of you. So be careful. Mix it with the right proportions of water. I'm only going to put a cap full of this in a whole cup or um, yeah, a whole cup of water. Don't be trying to do too much. Watch YouTube videos that are a little bit more instructional than mine because this is not really a tutorial on how to use the products. It's just showing you what I do to make sure my hair is protected. But I did want to put that disclaimer in here because I don't want nobody being like, I watched Joy Bell's video, blah, blah, blah. She said, no, I did not. Be careful, use it properly so you don't hurt yourself because this can really mess you up, sis, or bro, or whoever, because I am intersectional and I love all the people. So anyway, I'm gonna mix this with some water and this is what I'm gonna be using to wash my hair. I'm not gonna show y'all the wash process. If y'all want a wash day video, you can ask for it, but for right now, I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing. So I'm about to wash my hair and I'll see you after I wash it and I'll show you the next step after I wash my hair. Bye! Okay y'all, so now I am out of the shower and this is what my hair is looking like. She is clean, she's moisturized, but you never can have too much moisture. So right now I'm just putting the conditioner into my hair and this conditioner that I'm using is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marufural. Maru Maru Girl, this is it, I don't even know here and it's the intense hydration conditioner I love this conditioner so much for my hair it has so much slip for my hair and it's just like so moisturizing um there is another conditioner mix in there the v8 v08 y'all know the ones that are at Dollar Tree they got the bomb 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 slip like the slip slip slippery slip like the wet wet slip that is mixed in there and that's giving my hair tremendous slip and really helping me detangle these curlies so yeah this is what it's looking like i'm gonna do that all over the head i detangle when i deep condition so this part is just kind of like the prelude to the real detangle with my um wide tooth comb so yeah so nice and um, during this time I like to finger detangle because I feel like it's a lot gentler and it really gets those tangles out without pulling too much on my hair 
So that's just a tip. Um, I talk about finger detangling all the time. If you are somebody that watches my videos a lot, you know how I feel about finger detangling versus detangling with a comb. Cause not only is it good for you, I'm also a part of the tender headed club. So yes, tender headed. My scalp is so soft and sensitive. So I'm very, you know, very, have a very big aversion to combs. So here it is. The first two parts detangled. I can run my fingers through it for the most part. Very nice very nice so I'm gonna just twist these sections back up and finish the back section of my hair and then I will be back when I start deep conditioning okay y'all so now I'm going to start the deep conditioning process and I came to show y'all that the twists sometimes don't stay in when you start putting water in your hair because your hair starts getting heavy and the twists start doing their own thing so sometimes you just don't have to untangle the twist, retwist them and get it going. They don't have to be cute because you're about to put it in a deep conditioner and that's when the real work starts. So I'm gonna leave this one twist undone because this is the section I'm about to work with. But, okay. So the two deep conditioners I'm going to be working with is this one. This one's a moisturizing hair mask and it's by As I Am. These products are the truth. If you ever wanna try them out, I recommend it 2000%. And then this is my trusty Shea Moisture um, mask. It's Marufula oil and Manuka honey. Got it this time. Feels so classy. It's not focusing on the product like I want it to. I'm not totally fine. Whatever. So I'm going to take a glob of this and a glob of that because dime size amounts don't exist in the natural hair world opening them up both up they smells oh mm, this one smells mm. this, smell this one smells bomb this is what it looks like and they both kind of have the same consistency this one just smells better this one smells really good too but this one smells better so I got my glob and then I grab my other glob Ooh. so I've never used the um the uh, as I am one and it's super creamy like do you see that super creamy oh I like that I like that so let me let me put that girl this is smoothing onto my hair like butter butter butterball turkey girl this is luxurious this is what luxury feels like. This is how it feels. Y'all, no cap right now. This is the first time in my life outside of trying shea butter that I truly am saying, go out and buy this product right now. I know how the Marufula oil and Manuka honey mask feels because I've been using this for a long time. This right here is the truth, bro. Go get it now. Now, 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 now. It literally feels like, y'all, you don't understand. I have type four hair. Look at the way my fingers are running through my hair. That is psychotic. Okay, I know I'm being extra, but I just need y'all to go out and get that product because it is the truth. I am starstruck. Wow, that's amazing. It's making my hair feel so soft. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so back to regular scheduled programming. I'm going to distribute this product all throughout my hair. And so I'll be back whenever I finish. Okay, so this product is distributed all throughout my hair. I mixed the two like I told y'all, but I'm being so dead serious y'all. Like that product is so moisturizing my hair I have type four hair, super coarse and thick, as you can see. Um, and that hair, to make my fingers be able to slide through my hair like butter, my gosh, that's such a great product. You need to invest in this hairline. Um, this is my first time using it. I've been using the um, spray bottle, I'll show you. So this is the um, Jamaican black castor oil water and it's like something you can just spray in your hair to refresh it to moisturize it And this is really nice. And so I'm very impressed with this line so far 
while I'm doing my hair, I'm going to be using the smoothie to just like use as my cream along with that water and shea butter. And so I'm excited to see what it's gonna do. But yeah, this is just currently me. Let me get a thumbnail pic, you know. So um, since my hair has a deep conditioner in it, I'm about to spread it into the two sections. I'm gonna do two this time instead of four. And I'm gonna just bun it up. Bun, 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 bun. Do some bun buns and leave this up for the next um, 30 minutes just so that it can, you know, deepen condition in my hair. And um, after that, I will come back and see y'all. Watch your bun buns. Bun, 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 bun. All right, I'll be back. Okay y'all, so I'm finally back and this is going to be the last part of the video because I washed out my deep conditioner. My hair feels so soft y'all, like that, um, what's it called? Jamaican black castor oil line from um, As I Am, literally you need to cop it. So like I was saying before, I have the smoothie which is like a leave-in conditioner type of thing. So I'm about to try this out um, and I'm going to be mixing this, oh y'all, it's so creamy, it's like butter. Oh, it looks like a souffle, and it smells so good. Okay, mm, 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 mm. it smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing that product with some shea butter and some olive oil as my like um, base to my protective style because one thing, you need to make sure that your hair is moisturized when you're about to put it into a protective style. If you're leaving the style up for longer than a week, you need to make sure that you maintain moisture. And because we have natural hair, our hair is naturally dry, so we need to make sure that we're moisturizing it constantly. I will keep talking about moisture until the day that I die because if you want your hair to grow, you have to moisturize it. That's the only way that your hair will grow and not break off. So, off my soapbox, let's get into these products. So the first thing I'm going to grab it's so thick, y'all. She thick. She thick. She thick. Look at how it's not coming off my finger. This is... Oh, so buttery. Oh, I'm so excited to put this in my hair. My hair is already wet, so I already know this, um, so I don't need to wet it again. I'm just going to slap this product in there. And just like I expected, I suspected, it is making my hair feel like butter yeah this is my new fave sorry Shea Moisture as I am as taking your spot I'm buying this whole entire line as soon as I get paid again I'm about a big sizes oh my gosh and I got this at Sally's because they were having a buy one get one free sale and a 50% off sale all on this line so I was like oh yeah I guess I'll try it out and I made a great decision. Look at that. Literally, one product in my hair is doing this. Crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Yeah, I love this. My hair loves this too. Okay, and I didn't have to use that much. That's crazy. Okay, so I have the as I am in there, so I'm gonna take some shea butter organic 100% shea butter yes oh, yes I love the way shea butter makes my hair feel mm -hmm. um, and I did tell y'all that I was going to detangle my hair with a comb but because it was so smooth, it didn't need it, so I didn't have to. I don't like unnecessarily combing my hair because sometimes you're putting too much tension on your scalp and that can also cause breakage. So, you know, it didn't need it. I didn't need to comb it out because these products are working so well. Wow. Yeah, this is so nice. I love it. Okay. And then, and I don't care about my hair having a white cast because y'all know I'm about to put it up into a protective style, so that's gonna like get rubbed in. 
So more olive oil because that's my favorite oil for my hair. I'm just gonna put it on there. Make sure to focus it on the ends. And yeah, that's all. That's how I'm moisturizing my hair to get it prepared for the protective style. Okay y'all, so my hair is fully moisturized and ready to be put in a protective style. Let me just show y'all 360. So these are my steps and my tips on how to get your hair moisturized and prepared to be put into a protective style. If you have any comments or any tips to share that you do personally to get your hair ready to be put in a protective style, please comment below. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Y'all know that I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!